Cole Palmer delivered a crushing blow to his old employers as Chelsea and Manchester City played out a breathtaking 4-4 draw at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League. The weekend's headline encounter lived up the hype within the first 45 minutes in West London, as Erling Haaland, Thiago Silva, Raheem Sterling and Manuel Akanji contributed to a frenetic four-goal opening period. Haaland's second of the night was then cancelled out by a Nicholas Jackson top pin and Rodri appeared to have stolen a maximum for the champions late on, only for X-Men City Academy product Palmer to find the top corner with a sensational 95th-minute penalty to steal a slice of the spoils for Mauricio Pochettino's players. Unfortunately for Cucu Vrela, the Spaniard was on the wrong end of another contentious VAR call in the 21st minute, as both he and Darling Holland hit the deck following a tangle in the box. While both men were equally engaged in the physical tussle, Cuckoo Rella had a hold of Holland's shirt, which referee Anthony Taylor deemed penalty-worthy, and Holland coolly sent Robert Sanchez the wrong way to break the deadlock three minutes after the original awarding of the spot kick. A bright start from Chelsea was rendered meaningless by Holland's opener, but Mauricio Pochettino's side did not lose any belief and Reese James forced Ederson into a stunning save from a 28th-minute free kick as the Blues pushed for an instant response. The response the hosts so craved came from the resulting corner, as Thiago Silva made a sudden surge to the front post to meet Conor Gallagher's delivery, and the 39-year-old's glancing header flew across goal and into the side of the net in the 29th minute. Holland and Phil Foden both came close to restoring the visitors' lead to no avail, and only eight minutes after Silva's leveller. A former Chelsea target's horrible howler laid the ball on a plate for a former citizen to prod the Blues ahead. Cole Palmer's pass into James would seemingly be cut out by Josko Gvardiol, but the Croatian inadvertently backheeled the ball into the right back's path, and James had the simple task of squaring to Sterling for a topping. The winger did not hesitate to celebrate in front of the away end and the hosts would ostensibly head to the changing rooms with a one-goal lead intact as Robert Sanchez produced a brilliant low stop one-on-one -on -one with Holland in the 42nd minute. However, after leveling the match from a corner, a set-piece would prove to be Chelsea's undoing in the first minute of injury time, as a citizen's corner was played short to Bernardo Silva, whose outswinging delivery was headed into the back of the net by Akanji. Sanchez fatally slipped as he tried to scramble across his goal. The Stamford Bridge faithful barely had any time for a breather before the ball flew, or trickled, into the back of the net once again in the 47th minute, as Foden fed Julian Alvarez on the overlap, and the Argentines' low delivery for Holland ended with the sliding Scandinavian bundling the ball over the line via his backside. Holland's second of the afternoon was confirmed after a quick VAR check ruled out a handball, and Alvarez very nearly went from provider to goal scorer in the 52nd minute as he met Rodri's header with a half volley, which was meat and drink for Sanchez. The Stamford Bridge bedlam continued as the second half progressed, with Jeremy Doku picking up a yellow for diving before Palmer skipped past several of his former teammates to carve out a brilliant opening in the 61st minute only to poke the ball straight at Ederson. However, the Brazilian goalkeeper, who briefly needed treatment for an injury, was at fault for a third Chelsea goal in the 67th minute, parrying a long-range Gallagher strike back into the danger area, where Jackson arrived to steer home and get Pochettino's side back on level terms again. Gusto and Chelsea would eventually be left to lament that wasted opportunity, as with 86 minutes on the clock. Ex-Blue Mateo Kovacic was crowded out on the edge of the box, but the ball fell for Rodri, whose long-range fizzer nestled into the side of the net via a significant nick off of Thiago Silva's toe. Sanchez was completely wrong-footed by the unfortunate deflection, but the Spaniard was all smiles in the fifth minute of injury time, as Ruben Dias scythed down Armando Broja inside the area and Palmer cut a completely unfazed figure as he found the postage stamp to put an early dent in his former club's title hopes. Kyle Walker sent one last gasp free kick over the top before Anthony Taylor brought an end to an unforgettable clash, although Pochettino furiously marched onto the field to remonstrate with the official at full time, as his side were denied a possible breakaway by Taylor's final whistle.
The champion's draw is enough to keep them at the top of the table, but they only possess a one-point lead over Liverpool and Arsenal, while Chelsea have risen back above Brentford into 10th place owing to their superior goal difference. A trip to Newcastle United awaits Pochettino's men in 13 days' time following the international break, while Pep Guardiola's treble winners have a lunchtime date with Liverpool at the Etihad penciled in for November 25.